In 2020, realtor Jennifer Barnes opened a temporary food pantry in suburban Atlanta for families struggling at the start of the pandemic. She discovered a level of need that required a more all-encompassing community service approach and co-founded Solidarity Sandy Springs, which now feeds and serves thousands of people three days a week. We really thought we were gonna feed 10 families for two weeks. And here we are two and a half years later and we've served 50,000. Whole goal is for people to be greeted as they walk in the door. And there's a person at every station to help them make their selections. We have evolved into more than just being a food pantry. We've evolved into being a community movement. Last Christmas, we did 1,716 secret Santas. We sponsored seven COVID vaccination drives. We had an eye clinic and we gave two pair of glasses away to every kid who needed them. Realtor Dennis Curtin spent years researching the best ways to address hunger in his community. In 2019, it led to the opening of Mimi's Pantry in Kansas City, Missouri. Mimi's Pantry is a state-of-the-art food pantry. What differentiates us is the fact that we have refrigeration, which allows us to give protein, meats, fresh fruits and vegetables on every session. The first thing I think people notice when they come to Mimi's Pantry is it's very uplifting. Shopping is by appointment to ensure everyone has a spot. We want it to be an extremely dignified experience for them to feel like they're at a grocery store, choosing their own items for their families. We also took the approach that we're going to create a pantry that is nutritious. That is what Mimi's is really known for. He's a pretty amazing guy. I'm pretty proud that he's my dad. It has changed people's lives. When they were down and out, there was somebody here to help them. I think that's the greatest testament what Mimi's has done. It really has touched the, the hearts of so many people in this community. While the rich buy homes and condos on the Hawaiian island of Kauai because of its lush beauty, native Hawaiians and longtime locals are leaving because skyrocketing housing prices mean they can't afford to stay. Realtor Jim Edmonds is trying to change that. We are no longer in a housing crisis. We are in a housing tragedy. There will be no more local people on this island within 10 to 15 years. Jim, who has lived on Kauai since 1988, created Permanently Affordable Living Kauai with a goal of providing 5,000 affordable homes so people can stay on the island that shaped them. We have 11 houses under construction now. We have a project of 17 units that we will be developing with Habitat. And we also have been blessed to be able to buy a 13-unit apartment building to take people off the streets. Everything that he does comes from a place of understanding and compassion. He is a true Hawaiian. Our mission statement is to provide homes and sustainable living solutions within reach, restoring hope for the people of Kauai. In seven years, we packed close to 10 million meals with thousands of volunteers. Beginning in her basement in 2015, realtor Heather Greiser Lapierre created the Philadelphia chapter of Kids Against Hunger, an organization that packages nutrient-dense meals to help feed the hungry. When we package food, we typically have 30 to 50 volunteers per two-hour shift. We work in an assembly line, scooping the four separate ingredients into funnels, and then they get weighed, sealed, and each box has 36 bags. Each bag feeds six people, so it's 216 meals per box. I've done this probably 20, 25 times. I get to help a lot of people. It means a lot to these kids who get it. Our goal is to pack a million meals a month. You guys have 14,040 meals packed so far. I believe that there's kindness in everybody. And when I see this room filled with volunteers and everybody keeps coming, I just feel like I have a bigger purpose here and I feel like I have a meaning in life. And I believe that I am where I am today because of this place. As a realtor, I'm doing everything I can to positively impact my community. After pivoting careers from tennis pro to real estate, Mal Washington found his purpose, the Malavia Washington Youth Foundation in Jacksonville, Florida. When we started the foundation, one of the primary focuses was to impact young people, elementary school kids, and then it morphed into middle school and high school and then college age students. It's all about life skills, tennis, and education, trying to give our students the skills that they're going to need for the rest of their lives. For students who stay with the program and work hard to achieve academically in school, the benefits can last a lifetime. 
One of the things I'm very proud of at the foundation is every year we're going to award between fifty dollars and $100,000 in scholarship dollars. One of our former students graduated from Florida Atlantic University debt-free. It puts her future on a completely different financial trajectory. I feel especially good that my foundation has been recognized by the National Association of Realtors for what we're doing in the community because without them, without our volunteers, without other realtors, we just can't exist.